getting ready to go backpacking and I'm waiting for my ride and it's coming from Edmonton which means it's a few hours away which means I have to be patient but I packed my bag last night and I rush packed it I jammed shit in there like you wouldn't even believe and it's huge and it's an overnight bag and it shouldn't be this big so I need to pull some stuff out and take a really good look at what I've done and fix it okay so Soft flask, my new favorite thing, water. In reach, always, won't leave home without it. Bag of drinks, that is coffee, tea, electrolytes. I put that on top so it's easy to grab so I can make myself a drink along the way. I don't have to dig through my pack while hiking. New this year. It's a mask. I have asthma. I need to worry about whether or not I get caught out on the trail with the smoke coming in and so I got one of these. I mean, it's not ideal to have to use it, but now I feel so much better knowing that if I'm out there and the smoke is just too bad, I'm going to have this and I'm going to be okay to hike out of wherever I'm at. Earphones, Wi-Fi, phone cord. Taking a pre-roll. I don't get terribly stoned when I'm out on the trail. I don't like getting stoned out on the trail, but I am at camp with lots of people and it's going to be nice to sit around the fire and just have a little boot. Bug net for over the hat. Boom. Water filter. Catadine Bee Free 1 liter. This is the first backcountry trip it's going on. Headlamp. New BioLite. Never used it before, just bought it. Cordage. Gloves. More cordage, overkill, probably gonna pare some of that down. Part of my problem. First aid kit, I have a blog post about the first aid kit. There's lighter, tweezers, wipes, uh, iodine. There's some pills in here, as in some anti-inflammatories. There's some anti-allergy. There's some chapstick. There's a little tool in here. Uh, some emodium type stuff. Basically emergency use only. My food bag, small tarp for over my tent, tent fly, tent body and footprint, a larger tarp for camp. The weather forecast is really looking good, so this one might uh, stay behind. I like having the little tarp to put right over my tent. It's just a little bit extra protection, but uh, this guy might just be staying behind because it looks really nice in the weather, and it's just one night. Um, plates. Love these things. Super easy. They can be a cutting board. They can be... small dish. Perfect. Everything in here is in a garbage bag to keep it waterproof. What do I got? I have a toiletries bag, toilet paper, 
toothbrush, a little bit of soap. I don't usually use soap, but you never mind. No, especially an injury. Um, raincoat. This is the one I stuffed in last night. It is too big and it's uh, unnecessary for this one. I am going to use a much smaller one. A long sleeve layer with some insulation and a hood for around camp. If I hike in this, I'll be way too hot, but when you get settled into camp, this is an ideal layer for me. It's just one of my favorite kind of weights. Gloves, another pair. Probably going to take that out because that's ridiculous. I don't need two pairs of gloves. This is my kitchen set. There's a pot, a pan, a stove, and a fuel canister in here, along with a cook towel, towel for all my dishes and such. This is a dry bag that I use for hanging that will likely be used with one of these batches of cord, meaning I can take this kit batch of cord and leave it behind. That's for hanging at the bear pole. I haven't been into this camp for a while, so I'm not sure if it's a bear pole scenario or if they've put lockers into the, the this year. In the bottom here is my sleep system. It is a sleeping pad, a quilt, a pillow, a long sleeve insulated shirt, a pair of leggings, a pair of fresh underwear, and a pair of socks. It is not stuffed in here in stuff sacks. It's in a separate garbage bag all by itself. It's taking up quite a lot of room, but again, because it's a one night, I don't need to pack it down, so I'm not worried about compressing it into a stuff sack. On the outside of my pack, I have a solar powered light that I love having hanging up in my tent at night. I don't use it very often. We have really long days and we don't often need a light at night, but I like having it for when I wake up in the night. This is a pee rag and it's exactly what it sounds like. And I have wanted to use one last year. I used one and honestly, it just makes life so much easier when you're out in the woods. I'm not leaving or needing the toilet paper. I bring it just in case, but if I just need to go pee in the woods, there it's really nice to have this. It hangs on the outside of the pack. It dries really fast. You rinse it off. It's just really nice and it's uh, it feels nice on the lady bits. A big splurge for this one is I'm bringing an actual frying pan because I'm making steak and eggs and I want to make eggs on a multi-day trip. I wouldn't bring the weight of this frying pan, but I'm totally doing it this time. I have a small grill for my steak. There are some serious luxury items going on in here, but that little guy, probably gonna leave without the bag. That's unnecessary. This is in here for now, but when I hike, this is around my waist. It's my bear spray on a belt. I love wearing it on a belt. Uh, even though I have the bag, I could put it in a pocket and stuff because when I'm at camp, I can just wander around with my bear spray belt and I can hang things like my toiletries bag off of it when I'm going to the washroom. <laughs> washroom. This camp, last I was there, you're hanging your ass over a log. Oh, and my beloved knife. Uh, this is overkill for a lot of people. Don't care. I love this thing so much. I have processed enough wood for multiple nights using this thing. It's baton friendly. It's a full tang. It's four and a half inch blade. It is by SE Knives and I adore this. Also hanging off my pack is my folding mountain brewing mug. Got this for Christmas. I have one of their older metal ones. I like this one. I like just having an old school mug when I sit by the river and drink my coffee. It's the best. And then last but not least, also on the outside of the pack is my sit pad. This is a Thermarest z Light cut down so that it's one, two, three, four, five, six sections. That gives me lots to sit on and maybe come up my back if I'm leaning against a tree and stuff. And then at night, I put it underneath my sleeping pad. And even though my sleeping pad is a really warm X-Ped, 
it's nice to just have that extra layer of insulation between you and the ground. My favorite hiking hat. My shemog. This thing comes in handy. Covering up from bugs. Sometimes I'm just doing this all the time. If you've got some mosquitoes going on, on a hot day, you put this in the water and wrap it around your neck. It feels amazing. On a cold day, you get this all wrapped up and around you. It's amazing how much warmer you feel. I just love hiking with one of these. This is actually the first time a purple one's come out with me. So that's what's in my pack. It's actually not as ridiculous as I uh, thought it was by the size of my pack. I am just not uh, packing efficiently for this trip.